Hi, my name is Kirk Mears. I'm a senior laboratory technician at the University of the West Indies Kefield campus. Today's video will show you how to use correctly the DU730 UV Viz spectrophotometer by Beckman Coulter. We will go through a simple experiment using water as our solvent and the solution of crystal violet. Now we have a simple series of solutions going from one microgram per mil up to 10 micrograms per mil. And what do you expect to happen as we measure these increasing concentrations of solution? We will find out. No, you will find out. I'll be going through the use of this instrument today for you to obtain the best results during your practical session. Before using the DU730 special photometer, you must make sure you have all of your apparatus in place. Now today we have our sample solutions in the background from 1 to 10 micrograms per mil of crystal violet. We also have our QVEX, which is, a, which is one form of a sample container. Make sure you have clean QVEX or test tubes. We have the plastic ones, which are used for the visible spectrum, and we have the quartz QVEX, made of quartz, of course, which is used for the UV spectrum. If your school or your lab where you're at has, a, has plenty of equipment available, it's okay to use a series of cuvettes or test tubes. If not, you must make sure that you wash and rinse carefully your cuvettes or your test tube with distilled water and dry them totally before going on to the next solution. Cuvettes are very expensive, so please handle with care. Also in the front, we have our assay tube, which are small test tubes, which are easily used in the laboratory. We also have today our pipette, if you want to be precise about how much solvent you add, how much solution you add to your sample containers, you can use this also. And last but not least, very important, we have our lens tissue, a very soft, non-abrasive tissue, which is used to clean the cuvettes or the assay tubes before placing them into the machine. Your task is to find out what will happen when we measure solutions of increasing concentrations. What do you expect? Remember, a spec measures the amount of light passing through a solution. So, with that in mind, let's get a simple experiment. Step one, make sure your spec has been turned on for at least 15 minutes to allow it to warm up. Once the spectrometer is warmed up completely, you will see on the display the exit option and the blank option. Step two, make sure you have clean cuvettes or test tubes. Step three, lower your cuvette or acid tube with the volume of solution necessary for your readings. You can fill the cuvette to the top of the cleared area on it. Now make sure that you always keep your fingers on the side away from the clear sample site because this site is where the light will pass through to make your measurements. I will now fill it with my blank solution. Pour your solution into the cuvette slowly until it's around the neckline of the cuvette. What is a blank solution? A blank solution is the solvent used in your experiment. In this case, my solvent is water and my solute was crystal violet. You're now gonna repeat that same step with the first color solution, which is our one microgram per mil crystal violet solution. Always make sure you're holding the cuvette away from the clear side. Once that is done, you can begin to fill your solution into the cuvette. Now you're gonna pour the solution to about neck high. That's where the clear side of the cuvette stops. And there you have it. To calibrate the machine, I will now fill the cuvette with my blank, which is water, and place it into the spectrophotometer. Before going on to step four of measuring our sample, we have to make sure that our cuvettes, our sample containers, are completely clean. 
Now some of the solvent, some of the solution may have spilled on the outside of your cuvette. Make sure it is clear and clean by wiping it gently with some lens tissue. Any moisture outside the cuvette can enter the machine causing mechanical issues or affect your readings that you need for your practical. The machine has warmed up and as you can see on the display, you only have an exit and a blank option. Now this is a prompt to you, the user. You can only begin reading your samples after you have blanked the machine or set a standard or even calibrated it. So to blank it again, we will use our solvent water, which we dissolve or crystal boil it in. Now, as we open the door of the spec, the blank option will be removed until your sample is placed into the holder and the door is closed completely. Holding your sample correctly away from the clear side, you're going to place the cuvette into the space holder with the clear side facing you. Once that's done, you can completely close the lid of the machine. Once your sample is correctly in the spec and the lid has been closed completely, the blank option will be revealed once again. We just select blank and our reading will always be 0.000 because you are not measuring the water in this case. You want to measure what was dissolved in the water and in our case today, it has been crystal violet. Once your machine is blank, next to the blank option, it will also reveal the read option. From this point now, you can open your lid, remove your blank, and place your first sample that you want to measure the crystal violet or your appropriate substance with. You can close your lid and select the read option. After our simple experiment, you should have an understanding of how the spectrophotometer works. And we started out with a simple practical using crystal violet. We had a blank with just water and a series of tubes going from one microgram per mil of crystal violet through to three, four, five, seven, and 10 micrograms of crystal violet. Now, having seen the readings that were taken, you can see that the results increase. More so, the absorbance increased. In other words, the more particles within the solvent, which is water, the less light passing through the solution, and as a result, the higher the absorbance reading of the spectrophotometer.